Hello, my small wonders. Are you ready for a story? I'm Tracy, and I've got an animal book for you today. This one is called Kangaroo Christine by Guido van Genichten. Shall we begin? Kangaroo Christine Mummy Kangaroo had a problem. Kangaroo Christine has grown too big for my pouch, she thought. It's time she hopped through life on her own legs. Kangaroo Christine looks very, very heavy, doesn't she? But Kangaroo Christine didn't want to hop. Her mummy's pouch was nice and soft, and it kept them very close. There's Mummy Kangaroo licking Kangaroo Christine's nose. Mummy Kangaroo tried gently taking Kangaroo Christine out of her pouch, but Kangaroo Christine went hop right back in. She's certainly comfortable in Mummy's pouch, isn't she? The world is a lot bigger than my pouch and much more exciting, Mummy Kangaroo said. Look how the butterflies flutter from flower to flower. I don't care, said Kangaroo Christine. I want to stay with you. Mmm, Kangaroo Christine is very attached to her mummy. Look how the elephants play in the water. Mummy Kangaroo said. I don't like getting wet, said Kangaroo Christine. I like your pouch where it's warm and dry. The elephants look like they're having so much fun playing in the water. Listen to the birds whistling, Mummy Kangaroo tried. I love to dance when I hear them, don't you? No, I don't. Kangaroo Christine said, even though she was tapping her foot. I like listening to you hum instead. Do you like to dance, my small wonders? I do. See how much fun the monkeys have swinging from tree to tree? Mummy Kangaroo asked. I like monkeys, but swinging in trees looks dangerous. Kangaroo Christine said. The monkeys look like they're having a wonderful time swinging from tree to tree. I'm safer in your pouch. Watch how fast the giraffes run across the plains, Mummy Kangaroo said. Giraffes are speedy, Kangaroo Christine agreed. But the plains are too big for me. In your pouch, I know every little corner. Have you seen a giraffe in real life? They're so tall with their long, long legs. Exhausted, Mummy Kangaroo sat down. More, more! Kangaroo Christine cried out impatiently. I want to see everything! But Mummy Kangaroo could not take another step. Oh, she looks very tired to me. Just then, Kangaroo Christine saw someone in the distance, jumping closer and closer. Those are the best and longest hops I've ever seen, she thought. I wonder who it is. The hopper came right up to Kangaroo Christine. He had the same nose, the same ears, the same legs, and even the same strong tail as she. I'm Ben, he said. Do you want to play? Yes, said Kangaroo Christine. Will you teach me how to jump just like you do? Then she hopped out of Mummy Kangaroo's pouch and into the wide world. Finally, Mummy Kangaroo's pouch was empty. Don't go too far, Mummy Kangaroo called as Kangaroo Christine kept on hopping and hopping and hopping. 
So in the end, Kangaroo Christine finally got the courage to jump out of Mummy Kangaroo's pouch. Look at that smile on her face. I bet she ended up having loads of fun. More fun than she thought. When you haven't done something before, it can feel really scary. Sometimes we have to give new things a try. If we never try something, we won't know what it's like. And we could be missing out on something amazing. As long as you're not thinking of doing something too dangerous, sometimes we just have to be a bit brave, a little bit curious, and believe in ourselves and give something a go. We have to go with the flow and not overthink and worry so much. Don't forget that life is full of little lessons. So if we try something new and it doesn't quite turn out the way that we thought it would, that's all right. Maybe the next time we try it, it will be even better. Don't be too serious. Try and have a little bit of fun. I wonder how many lessons you'll learn this month, my small wonders. Do you think you'll give something new a try? I hope you will, and I'll see you for our next story. Bye-bye.